going on, everybody? Welcome back to another late night in the Brew Lab with me, Lone Fox, your brewmaster in chief. And tonight in the Brew Lab, I'm uh, coming at you with the Dimir Mind Splice Apparatus deck, uh, taking some uh, inspiration from an opponent some of you may remember from a few videos back who had cleverly thought um, about the cost reduction from the Mind Splice Apparatus when. Um, you know, in conjunction with the, the new spree cards. So, without further ado, let's jump right through. And there's an Esper one that's also close. We may do an, a little bonus content at the end. But I've been on a bit of a brewing spree now that I'm in Mythic. Not everything is really that amazing, but um, there's some there's some interesting ones. Um, these top three here are kind of the ones that are closest to being ready for the for the channel. So, stay tuned. Uh, but for tonight, Dimir, just for clean mana and uh, best spree cards, honestly. So, <clears throat> the spree cards, they have these extra costs. It's like a super kicker, modal kicker. And um, Mind Splice reduces this, uh, you know, the, the colorless bit of that. So you can eventually just rush of dread all three modes for two blue ma for two black. Pretty nice. Uh, you know, all of the modes on uh, three steps ahead for two blue. Mm, pretty nice <laughs> when you put this all into a deck which is mostly trying to be controlling um and then waiting until the correct moment upon which uh, time we can upon you know you get to these moments where you have so much mana from the mind splice that you can uh just play your actor's arts and like know that you have the counter spell to protect it and everything and you just destroy the opponent uh but with the rush of the dread combo but if you start to, you know, not have the right pieces in hand, the opponent's also playing some control of the deck, you're kind of like just trying to angle that, like having the right amount of mana open, and you finally just get the blood letter to stick. What you can do is just copy your blood letter with three steps ahead and just try and get in with multiple blood letters. Um, or we can also alternate win con intimidation campaign, making a debut on the channel uh, whenever it ETBs. Each opponent loses one life, you gain one life, and you pull a card. And whenever you commit a crime, it's back to your hand, and you can just keep replaying it. King, king, king away. Nice little bit of life gain in a, in a, you know, in a color combination that struggles with that. So very, very handy, actually. Mm, and then we've got, uh, you know, lands that can commit crimes to just bring this back, uh, alongside just being alternate win con. So restless rage, you can you know, mill the opponent out, and uh, demolition field other ways of bouncing so uh it's it's a more controlly dimmier uh like otk combo with blood letter deck but that happens to also just have like crazy value spells because of the apparatus you know we can um get the you know this is kind of like when you make this appear that the, the upside here is that you can also make a little tutu that can swing in in the air uh, draw a bunch of cards with the Mind Splice Silver Scrutiny combination, which those of you who've been following the channel for a while will know how much I love that. I mean, sometimes even just without the Aklas Arts ever making it onto the battlefield or into your hand, the combination of Rush of Dread, you know, making them lose half their life and then continuously dropping Intimidation campaigns, that's won me a few games. So, lots of ways to do it. Hopefully, not too much Streamer's Curse. 24 lands. Hopefully, hoping it's enough because of the cost reduction for Mind Splice. All we really ever need to do is get up to five, uh, you know, before a Mind Splice hits the board to sweep with the deadly cover up. But otherwise, feel pretty good. So fingers crossed. Let's uh, let's see how the deck holds up on the upper Mythic ladder, top 500. Just testing out the S for one. Just the, board. the white. Spree card, it's like that instant sweeper. It's also really decent. So I think, I don't know. I, I'll just show you. Stick around. Those, those of you who are part of the Cool Kids Club. <laughs> as, uh, who is it? CGB. CGB. You know what I'm saying. Those of you who stick around to the end. You're, you're the best people. Because that's more watch time hours on the channel. And that's more money on me. Yours truly. <clears throat> Incredible high. Hardly played over the weekend because uh, I was really mythic and I needed to do a bit of a break and just boom 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 just slipped right down. I was I was I, I hit mythic in 14th place. 
and I enjoy the top 50 for a few matches on Sunday and then <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm really starting to think like it might be fun for the channel like in one of those like because this is going to be a long break with this format for rotation no new cards until August end of middle towards the end of August so it might be interesting to do one of the instead of just taking a break which I usually do maybe I'll, I'll do like a wants to stay in the top 100 this month video and find the best deck that I play the best and pilot it to perfection over and over until I'm fifteen again. And get get you know get to stay in the top one hundred or something. That would be a pretty fun thing to do. I think for myself personally to prove that I can, because I know I can. But I never try because I'm always making new decks. I just have to pick what I'm good at and just play only that. Which is kind of what I do when I run into Mythic so early in the month. Then I have a feeling uh, I could actually do it and uh, qualify for some. <laughs> There's a little bit of a yearning in me for some high stakes upper level. Feels like the heavy budget. Great. Two go for the throat. I guess I should have. I guess I should have waited. Now he's gonna put the monstrous raid. The, the level of consistency of this card. The monstrous raid is always there. These two cards are gonna be like lightning fire, uh, lightning strike, and terrible. Really so. Fortunately for us, we have the combo in hand. So, you know, if we just survive. Please. Oh, that's the one play with fire that's always in the opening. It's quite top, is not nice. Now, Bloodletter holding down the fort a turn. Can you do 7 damage? And, no, because you can't risk blocking. Just have to let it through. He's got 2 mana. <gasps> we, we did it. We, we, get, we duck down, did it. Easy mode. Bye. Get stuffed, mate. Uh, it, it is actually a really good feeling. Like, I've been playing this combo of just Blood Letter, Brush of Dread in like a control shell in the Esper version of this deck, which I'm going to show you. And, like, you just have this feeling of like, cool. I just, it doesn't matter how low my life gets, I can kill the opponent out of nowhere zero. Like any bits and pieces, and some counter spells, some removal, a little sweeper, and then just boom, that's your finisher. Ah, it's been doing the thing. Master reaction. Which one had I? Oh yeah, here on red. Oh, I got two. Let me oh no. Nice. Ooh. Ooh, I want that. Ooh, I want that. I so want that. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Let's uh, have more games like that. But maybe not against Mono Red. Is better. So it's going to be probably a combination of Mono Red and uh, Azorius. Oh. Wow, is Azorius is so ridiculous, man. I kept playing that Flash one. I, that's always keeping me in the top 30. Like the first third day after I hit Mythic, I just kept playing that Flash deck. I, I, I'm actually going to... There we go. I've, I've just inspired myself to make a Flash Tempo. Not Pink 
control. Just go more full out on the temple. Uh, on the temple. On the tempo. Get rid of the, um, you know, the lockdowns and the, the sunfalls. More counter spells, more removal, and more creatures. I think just by removing that those that six slots, just from the the remove the, the sweepers. Um, I think like a couple of two drops of flash, like maybe, or maybe even just the, the, the Croft's eidetic thingy magic. for flyers Maybe some of them have flash but then you, have, you want them all to have flash you have to play that terrible card the the, the giada and erin that good mgga got two counter spells for the early worth a try and then the combo eventually Kind of spell slash draw slash whatever for the mid game. Fingers crossed. Go start in a black paste something. Alright, so we've got uh, the Phantom Interference making a debut on the channel. A little swingsy. So, I mean. Uh, Blood Letter isn't gonna stick around. The we're just gonna run it spread into a go for the throat. So I think uh, here we're in the what mode. Have enough mana to do the full thing. Three, four, five. A tiny little package. Um. No, this means. Won't have the mana to pay for a removal to kill the spirit, so then you know. Okay, it's getting to the point. We're close to the point. But we may just have to, you know, risk it. Risk it. Why? Why did I bother? So fine. Like, tap out, please. At least that. letter from graveyard with a tanuma god
so close. So I think we just both cover up early. doing the same nonsense as us in terms of actors arts but at least we need yeah he's got uh he's got the damn uh big so we need four plus five is five six seven eight. one more mana we play actors arts and immediately land off the top a spell respond with our own brush of dread let's see if i can bait she baited she baited oh and now i have it because i can chump i'm not gonna block that Bye. Off you go. <laughs> you know, that was always my thinking. Like, I love Mono Black, right? So sick, amazing cards. Like, this was a great, well built deck and everything. But if you're going to try and go for a combo finish in a black deck, okay, it with blue. It's not the craziest splash. The mana is phenomenal right now in this color combination. Like, what more do you want? Just add some counter spells and some card draw. Immediately, you're off to a better start. Like, uh, you're not really sacrificing much there in that black deck. So, pretty stoked. That's two, two to know. <laughs> I haven't seen a single mind splice, uh, but fine. Algorithm here. Can be a real joker. Times. By the way, thank you to everybody who you know replied back with the feedback for the new microphone. I'm glad it sounds good. And I wish I could do a longer video tonight, but I have some uh, pressing duties. Real work. There's a giant pile of paperwork right next to me. I'm not looking forward to attacking. The Hell Spurs are the most hard boiled and violent bandits of them. They integrate the natural magic of the land directly into their bodies, turning themselves into villains that can perform cruel feats of legend. <laughs> Huh? Ah! Same opponent. That's pretty sucky. Uh, what was he just playing? Man, my memory is just the worst. But, uh, stats, my opponents, view. Okay. Meanwhile. Uh, uh, yes, Mono Black, sorry. Doi, doi, doi! Alright, Mono Black. Gat for me, boy. On the play again. Weren't we on the play last time, too? Sweet! That, that is not sweet. You may even have to discard the Mind Splice. Can you imagine? 
get the campaign going. I mean, if he wants to use uh, tiny bones to get my uh, my spice fire, we just need to get to a point where we can fire off. Needed demolition field at all? No, eh? Hey? My lordy lord. Let's, uh, please draw land. Oh. Okay, that's also not too shabby. Replacement. Uh oh. Look at yours. Fortunately, we are sweeping this. Just a little addition. Goodness, we have the reduction. Let's get rid of that. We got once and oh, only only two, huh? Corpses in hand. Alright, good one. Bugger. It's really not going on. Okay. Okay. Um, here. Let's get a little dangerous. And I'm gonna discard. That was really really bad <laughs> i guess he got his his little uh redeemer there i felt like I, I don't know something just felt off there i piloted that like utter trash my apologies hmm, trying to think what i could have done better there but maybe i fired off that thing too soon i could have been you know uh, kept the sweeper an extra turn and just get rid of the actor's arts with a uh, target removal Point and click a removal. Fine. Up, up, up at number nineteen. I got a sneaking suspicion. I think the gunner is there.
Okay. Humans, just mono white humans. It's making a bit of a comeback. Sure. Just in case. Italia coming. Ah, oh, counter spell ain't gonna help us because of the cavern. So, in that case, I will use my. Oh! <clears throat> what a card. What a card. Discarded that land. I discarded one and I bought him. One. That's not a human. Sorry. Bye. <clears throat> I'll wait to get each other up and pick these guys out of the. All of our targeted removal. <laughs> One go. Pretty bonk. Okay, I think I'm gonna want to draw some uh, cards here. Survive. One more turn. I think so. Three, two, four, five, six. Worst case scenario, we can activate a restless reef. We can just mind splice, we win. Alright, let's check the math. Two, four, six. We've got nine life. Everything is. even need it. Bam. Bye. Bye bye now. 
up, 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 and away. Wow, don't you just love winning games on the ladder and not moving a single spot? <laughs> All right, how are we doing for time? Not too shabby. I guess one more match is in order. And then uh, we can call it a night. It's almost to the point where I'm like, Cut the mind splice completely, get rid of some of the spree cards and just put in like other cards and like you can still just win regardless with a Jimir combo y vibes. But uh, I'm gonna leave one match time window after this one, whether we win or we, whether we lose, with the Esper one. And uh, there, hmm. Ah, I wish I had. That type of a brain for like the Frank Carsten statistician deck ruin thing with the mana bases because I feel like that's where most of my problems lie. Oh, that's a long one. There we go. There we go. Terranum. It's, a, it's a risky keep, but I, I like the look of all these cards. I mean, again, the key mana. Like I said. There we go. On the third land. So we've pretty much just won the game. We also have an answer to their bird. Are they going to pot the bird? Pax, are you potting the bird? Oh. Well, that the volume from the game isn't feeding into the mic. Down a little bit as well. And now, we are not at the point where I, even though I'm at 19 life, where I feel comfortable um, playing Intimidation Campaign against Mono Red. Like, it's ridiculous the amount of damage that you can do. Like, you know, three mana and one bird. Squee! That's. Doesn't need to be uh, No birds being plotted anywhere around these parts. Monstrous Raid. Go. Do your thing, bro. You're, you're, the, you're the man. Oh, this is the worst when this happens. Just the worst. Mana players. At least we can answer, and I think we're going to have to answer by discarding an apparatus. Like, it's just not. What? We discard an Akazarts? Is it? Against this matchup, it's better to just try to mind splice. Yeah? Are we all in agreement? Man, sometimes I wish I streamed well and true streaming uh, on like Twitch. I could have Twitch chat. Help me. Okay. The birdie. A little, a little birdie. Oh. Bye bye, little birdie. Birdies. Yeah. Okay. Woo. Okay. Ananaklazots. Do the thing by himself against the Monoret. Witch Stalker's Frenzy. I scoop. By the way, opponent loses one life. So whenever an opponent would lose life during your turn, this would be a two. 
two drain instead of a one drain. That's really nice. A little minor synergy there. It'd be nice to like pop deck a land and play the intimidating campaign. And that would find us. over damn damn car <laughs> it's so stupidly good <laughs> i'm still in shock i cannot wait for rotation just so we can have uh mono red claim its position at the top of the meta again i have a feeling it's it's poised i mean it's okay yes kumano goes but I've been making some brews here. Uh, I don't want to show you. Don't want to show you because um, I'm thinking already like what's mono red gonna look like after rotation? No Kumano, no whatever. And I think it's still phenomenal. All right, so a bit of a defeat there. Unfortunately, we're gonna try the Esper version for a final match. A little bit more versatility. Thinking I'm gonna swap out the lockdown. For a, a path of peril, even though that makes the deck not rotation proof, maybe it's the way to go because it's got the, the cleave, which is going to get the cost reduction from the mind splice, and it can eventually later. Nah, okay, we've already got the final showdown as a destroy all creatures, so let's just keep playing the lockdown. Um. As it can be better against certain things like um, enchantment decks. Yada, yada. And uh, the issue we have with the with this version is there's no um, artifact tape. So I refuse to play them. The white march, <clears throat> again, just me being silly with my rotation proof obsession. Because otherwise, uh, I think most of the decks I've been making over the last few days, uh, if not weeks, could, could have probably just been better and having more win rates, but I'm, I am a little bit obsessed with this uh, thing. I just want it, want, it to, I want it to happen soon. All right. Glorious opener. And there will be a Esper deck. It's still a fine Glorious opener with the lockdown. This is one of my favorite cards for control. Like, I can't believe Play it. And it's again me trying to not have Wandering Emperor in my deck, but I need some life gain, so here we go. Union of the Third Part. A single black board, you know, one I have the most. Investigate, yada yada, sure. Put a five color weirdo stuff going on. Scary. Okay. Single black source for whatever reason. That is a human fairy detective. Down for you. Out of any issues. I'm guessing it's just. It's literally the the you know but three of each of the Dimir. Wow. He goes for the final showdown so that he can get the little fairy, but I would go for the scrutiny. Because then I'm screwed. Okay. You know, and then the, the question always is when you're in those situations, do I cast the scrutiny? Then he gets to pick from things that I might not have wanted him to pick. <laughs> what are you doing? What is this? dare you this town ain't big enough for the both of us partner wow 
great, uh, great game. Our only advantage, remove our mana base, not collaborating whatsoever. Another blue hand. Wow, just so useful. <laughs> ah. Ah. Ah, there she blows. Alright, so let's go like this. Let's get rid of it. Yeah, it is what it is. Fantastic gang with the hideaway mechanic. <coughs> Woohoo! I have three of each of the Dimiers, and I also have uh, two of each of the uh, Orzov. Plus an actual swamp and Takanuma and four of Fiend's towers. <laughs> the color that I second color that I have the most mana. <clears throat> I mean, he knows I have the get. basic land I got a basic black land okay <laughs> Seeing a little bit more of this making the rounds lately. Interesting choice here. Weird card. Cast a spell. That's one of colors. Gain life. One life for each of that spell's colors. So, you know, casting the crux. Oh, now we know what's going on here. Now we know. It's a cornucopia deck. I mean, uh, uh, an invasion of a Lara deck. So, he's probably just going to have immediately. Uh, flashy removal. Huh? You could still have it. What's it called again? Leyline binding would be my guess. Real charming opponent. <coughs> so does he have the way to immediately flip it? No. Normalize. Please put that on the bottom, please. I mean, whatever. Actually, okay. Now we're flooding. Cool. Oh, what a like the last couple matches. Just a really bad way to end the night. I was really hoping for something better. Than that. <coughs> Every single game, I mean, every, you know, every single turn, whatever you play, there's an answer. There's an answer. There's immediately the answer to everything you do. It's really quite frustrating. I, I am not a huge fan. But what can you do? It, it is what it is. But uh, please don't get salty. It's the best way to lose, um, you know, your confidence. Your skills just go down the drain. So I, it's unfortunate. I, I really want to play one more. Do we have time? Uh, should we try it? One more match. It's fine. 45 minutes. Who cares? Let's go for the hour video. I want to end on a win. That was terrible. Play like that. Everything I needed was taken from me and then just had the answer. Really, really nasty, nasty. 
full on just five color nonsense pile. Congrats on uh, the assignment there for being able to do it. Hmm, not in my turn, but kind of okay. Set down. Interesting. So, some kind of situation with artifacts. This is also an artifact, by the way. <clears throat> and I think I'm just gonna kill it right now. It's not something that I can really lock down. <clears throat> Steps ahead of the cow. <gasps> ooh, 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 ooh. This is uncountable because it is human. So. Another game like this. Random poop go and the opponent just you know, has it all the time. No no no. Not what we want here. Okay, that's both locked downable creatures. And <coughs> he's only got one blue source open. That is great. I'm going to freaking do right freaking now. <coughs> Bye. Woo. Okay, Poetic Ingenuity is a card I absolutely love. Love, 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 love. One of my favorite cards from that set. Crazy love for that set. Pixelang was really just did so much for artifacts. Okay. Interesting choices. <clears throat> so we're looking pretty groovy here. Um, this is where we want to be at in this game. Like, hell yeah. We have spree cards. We have mine spliced down. We're still alive. I think it's time to start getting a little jiggy with it. Um, Instant speed sweeper. <laughs> now we're good. Watch this. Okay. We would have just gotten our asses. Simulation. Interesting card. I didn't quite play it. Uh, boom. Second mind splice. Untap. Play land. Play actors art. All modes. Boom 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 off you go my friend <laughs> all right <clears throat> we got there in the end on the final one again some i don't know it looked interesting some sort of like the sky artifacts again some, but going about it slightly different route with malcolm and things i like I like 
someone playing like a complete dank homebrew in the top, you know, 500 mythic. Down, you are a star. Uh, but that is going to have to be it for this one, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Um, I'm going to jump back into the deck with some very last final thoughts. Uh, I think I've probably just talked enough throughout the video with all of my thoughts. <laughs> Maybe too much. Um, but this one looked really freaking sick, right? Uh, <laughs> I think there's really something to this. Maybe even going like full deadly cover-up, get rid of the campaign... And, you know, if you really want to be uh, playing things properly here, you bring in the Black March. You cut some of these removals. Bring in the Black March because you're playing a Mind Splice deck and you bring in the Syncopates and you do, the, you know, then it wouldn't be rotation proof. So this is the rotation proof version. If I were to build the non rotation proof version, you know what I would have put. Uh, the definitely like three Black Marshes. Marshes. Marches. It does look like a marsh. March, wretched soul. Jeez, dude, what a cycle. Um, and then uh, I would put in the syncopates probably instead of the phantom. Um, and then uh, I'm not entirely sure about this intimidation camp. It is really nice, but if we're having life gain and, and card draw from other sources, then maybe better to put something else in here, like especially in the uh, you know, there's that witness the future card start bringing stuff back typical mind splice fashion um and then as far as the uh the esper version the only problem is again my my uh you know i'm being i'm being a bit you know, hard-headed because if i just played the white marsh oh, or you know there's actually a since i'm playing free stuff Maybe we could play some of the new spree card that uh, is artifacts enchantments, but then that third mode. I hate playing a modal card where the third, where one of the modes is virtually just never gonna. I mean, yes, we have an Aklazots. We could put counters on our Aklazots, but it's it's, it's sorcery speed. I don't know. <coughs> the, the the only like little gap in the in the meta that this variant has is the lack of a a way of dealing with artifacts otherwise really really nice as well so i hope you enjoy the video and um i hope you go and try out some synergies with the spree mechanic and mind spice apparatus for yourself that is going to have to be it for this one guys thank you all again so much for watching i will see you all in the next one with another fresh fresh brew and until then this is lone fox from the brew lab signing out peace y'all <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.